The Arizona desert is known for cactus, blistering heat, and for some, <laughs> gold. An hour and a half north of Phoenix, these people are literally digging for it. Oh, everybody thinks they're going to get rich. Don Duesenberg is a retired construction worker who started doing this seven years ago. Some people go play golf. They don't make any money. All they do is spend money. Well, here, I probably get, I get some back. Like times of old, they still use pans, but metal detectors and other modern equipment make finding the gold easier. And if everything works the way it's supposed to, that's where the gold is trapped. About 70 to 80 years ago, this area was worked by professional gold miners. They found the easy stuff and the place was abandoned. But now these weekend prospectors are back, trying to find any scraps that were left behind. And we mean scraps. You practically need a magnifying glass to see them in their vials. But Dave Cusack says they can add up quickly. At least that's the plan. So I'm semi-retired and I thought, well, I either get a part-time job or something that'll pay well. And I thought, well, Maybe, maybe looking for gold would be the same as a part-time job. Uh, so far, it hasn't turned out quite that well, but I'm still hoping. And start over. Seems to me you would have to have a lot of patience to do this. You got to have a lot of patience and love to be in the outdoors. Dan Ware heads up a club for local prospectors. The club secured permits to search this and other federal lands. Membership in the last couple of years has soared from about 70 to more than 400. His treasure hunting supply shop also brings in novices trying to get in on the action. I keep thinking, where's it going to end? But everybody just keeps thinking it's more and more out there, and there is. One customer thought he found the nugget of a lifetime, but it turned out to be just a worthless rock. It looked like gold to me, but it's iron pyrite. Are you finding that some of your members, some people who are doing this, are actually doing this to supplement their income? Well, they have that idea, and we try to explain to them, hey, this is a hobby. If you get any gold, it's a bonus. Don't plan on making a living doing it. Good idea, say gold experts. Go out into the hills, go out to some of the prospector shops, see if you find anybody who's got a, uh, an ounce in his hand. It's rare. It's rare. Maybe so. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing there. But it doesn't stop the dream of someday finding the mother load. Dan Simon, CNN, Yavapai County, Arizona.